This is the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. Ever wish you could re-listen to your favorite interview or segment? Do you enjoy hearing older shows for the first time in years? Then the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less is just what you need. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Hello friends, John Zolberg here, your host for the best moments of the Barbecue Central Show in 10 minutes or less. And I gotta tell you, today's episode is being brought to you by The Butcher Shop, purveyors of highly sought after 100% Australian non-crossbred Wivara 9 Plus Briskets, and as always, they're hand-picked just for you. The Butcher Shop has been retailing the finest meats for the past 15 years. Every week they are shipping out competition quality meats to many of the biggest teams in the competition scene across the nation. Simply put, teams who use the Butcher Shop win, and they win often. If you're not a competitor but you still want some finer cuts, great news for you. The Butcher Shop is shipping some of the finest prime, dry-aged, Australian Wagyu, and Japanese Wagyu steaks to people just like you and me who aspire to be the kings and queens of their cul-de-sacs. The Butcher Shop always has Berkshire, Compart Duroc, Allegiance Duroc, and Prairie Fresh all-natural pork in stock, and again, always hand-picked just for you. So let's review. The best competition briskets, they got it. The best pork selection, they got it. Giving you better overall options to cook at home, they got it. So give The Butcher Shop a call today, 850-458-8782. That's 850-458-8782. Be sure you mention the Barbecue Central Show. They're going to give you 10% off your entire order each and every time. The Butcher Shop, home of the 100% Australian non-crossbred Wailara briskets. And I, I'm sad to say the barbecue lost a great one recently. Mr. Bill Arnold from Blues Hog, the inventor of the creator of Blues Hog. Let's go back to February 11th, 2011, where Greg got a chance to catch up with Mr. Bill Arnold. Pitmaster Master Blues Hoggers. It's uh, Bill Arnold. Bill, how are you tonight? Doing great, Greg. It's great to be on your show. I really enjoy it, and and uh, uh, just just glad to be here. Well, certainly my pleasure to have you on, Bill. And you know, when we talk about competition barbecues, you've certainly been around it for a while. For the people that maybe don't have that intimate knowledge of how you kind of got into the whole barbecue deal, can you give us a little background about yourself before we actually get into the sauce and the rub stuff? Well, to be be honest with you, I got hungry. But uh, <laughs> I'm originally from Jackson, Tennessee. Down there on every corner uh, in the around that area, you, you, you find barbecue stands. Uh, as a child, I grew up around it and and uh, co- outdoor cooking, uh, stews, and and, and uh, barbecuing and stuff like that. So I just kind of had a knack for it. I watched a lot of old timers and would hang out with them all night and and uh, got into the Memphis and May circuit back in the mid eighties and uh moved to Missouri uh back in uh nineteen ninety and uh been here for for a while. Uh uh I came up with this I've been using the sauce for, for years and years. It's my own recipe. Uh uh started out with rubs. We, you know, made our own rubs down south. Uh Tennessee uh, likes dry meats. Uh, uh 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 found out that you could enter this uh, sauce into a a contest called the American Oil International Barbecue and Sauce Contest, and end up winning the thing uh, first time. And and uh, we've been a repeat walk, uh, walker down front uh, many years after that. Since uh, I know a lot of the teams out there on the competition circuit are using it, and I appreciate all their business and everything. And uh, uh, I'm a single parent of three little girls. Uh, my I wear a side hat as the mayor of Perry, Missouri, population seven hundred. So. Other than the sauce company, yeah, that keeps me busy. <laughs> so initially, was it just you deciding to, to throw that sauce into the American Royal, or, or when did you actually decide to try and get into the, the competition barbecue aspect as well? Well, like I said, uh, back in the 80s, uh, I started uh, cooking the Memphis May circuit down in around Jackson, Memphis, around that area, and had developed... Uh, uh, a, a dry rub and, and a sauce that I thought was pretty unique, and everybody else, uh, uh, especially the judges, seemed to think so. And uh, when I I didn't have it on the market, but when I moved to Missouri, there was a uh, I'm all about giving, and uh, there was a farm family got burned out of their home out here, and uh, their neighbors asked me if I'd cook a couple of whole hogs, and I made up a batch of my sauce and. Uh, 
and sent it over there. And uh, and the next day, the phone started ringing. People wanting to know what kind of sauce that is and where could they could buy it. And and uh, I said, well, that's my sauce. Well, one gentleman that uh, called uh, uh, had a chain of IGA stores, and he said, I think you've got something, Bill. And uh, so I went through the, the University of Missouri and uh, – and uh, different, uh, uh, you know, the nutritional facts statement, uh, the barcode to get it in the stores. And, and so it was just a sideline. I was a tool and die engineer at the time. And uh, yeah, like, like I said, it was, a, it was a hobby. But, yeah, we had about uh, my first – my goal was to double my stores every year. Well, after the first year, we had over 100 stores carrying it. Yeah, and like I said, I was a tool and die engineer and walked into work one day and they sent my job south of the border. So uh, there I was with a single parent with three little girls and I needed a job. So uh, I got out, uh, started hustling, making the sauce and putting in more stores and, and then created a little uh, manufacturing facility and it kept growing. And so now my products are manufactured by Allegro Fine Foods down in Paris, Tennessee. They make Allegro marinades and just a great bunch of people to work with. Uh, but uh, it actually started out helping others. When I'd uh, do a benefit for uh, somebody that was less fortunate or, or a cancer, cancer patient, I'm uh, recuperating from brain cancer. And uh, uh, I know Scotty Johnson's a very good friend of mine. I, I, I donate to him and help him out. And uh, I've been blessed by all the friends uh, out there of mine that are on the competition circuit that use it and spread the word. So that's basically how it, it got started. Uh, uh, when when you get these teams out there using it and they're winning, uh, I, I, it makes me proud uh, to, to to watch them go. Uh, I, I've won literally a couple thousand awards with it, and uh, it's it's I've just been blessed. It's a unique sauce. The Tennessee Red is a thinner uh, vinegar based sauce. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's very unique in its own way, and then. The honey mustard uh, has won many uh, uh, top awards uh, in the in the sauce competitions across the country. That uh, um, it, that's uh, it's like the original. It's it's very unique. It's a hard to describe flavor. It's uh, it's a it's a mustard with a with a solid uh, uh, honey flavor to it, but no not overwhelming. So my products are easy on the on the tongue. They don't have they're not sharp. The I call them sweet with the right amount of heat, just like me. Rest in peace, Bill. Mr. Bill Arnold, legendary barbecue figure. I said for years, you can't win without Blues Hog. Still believe you can't win without Blues Hog. Certainly will be missed. Certainly left an indelible mark on the barbecue landscape, whether you know that or not. If you'd like to hear the rest of this episode, please head over to the bbqcentralshow.com. There'll be a link in today's show notes to take you there to the complete episode. And until next time on the best moments of the Barbecue Central show in 10 minutes or less, I'm your host, John Solberg. I invite you to get yourself some Blues Hog and get yourself outside and cook something. <laughs>